Do you have a lighthouse faith, or a matchlight faith? A lighthouse faith draws from the powerful light of Christ within, and shines brightly in the world to light the way for you and others, to keep you safe and to make others safe. It melts the darkness of sin around you under the illuminating light and purifying spirit. A lighthouse faith exposes the shoals of wickedness, illuminates the shallow bottoms of temptations, and brings into view the rocky shores of sinful practices. It spares no hidden thing that is contrary to faith. A match-like faith is a faith that is visible but it is not bright enough to light the way for yourself or others. It is not illuminating enough to keep you from tripping over the stumbling blocks of impure desires, or prevent you from crashing into coral reefs of addictions. Its dim glow promises light, but it disappoints. It is not powered by much fuel so it is easily blown out by the winds of adversity, and must be relit often. A match-light faith, is an unproductive faith that produces enough light to claim existence, but not enough to brighten the way through the toils and snares of life. Its dim glow cannot help anyone see past anxieties, worries, and fears. It saves no one, guides no one, helps no one, and eventually burns the fingers of the holder with hypocritical heat. This kind of faith produces more odorous smoke than guiding light. The question is not do you have faith, because most believers have some faith. The real question is how large is your faith? A lighthouse faith is a large faith, and a match-light faith is a little faith. The words of the Master support this view in Matthew 8, verse 26, and it reads, And he said to them, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And again, in Matthew 6, verse 30, he said, But if God so clothes the grass of the field, which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown into the oven, will he not much more clothe you, O you of little faith? A little faith cannot deliver one from fear as was the case when Jesus calmed the raging sea. It cannot deliver one from worry about sufficient clothing, shelter, and food. Little faith cannot heal in the way the man was healed in Acts 3, verse 16. And his name, by faith in his name, has made this man strong whom you see and know, and the faith that is through Jesus has given the man this perfect health in the presence of you all. A large faith lights the way for others, and encourages them the way Paul spoke of in Romans 1, verses 11 and 12. For I long to see you, that I may impart to you some spiritual gift to strengthen you, that is, that we may be mutually encouraged by each other's faith, both yours and mine. A large faith heals, as demonstrated in Luke 7, verses 9 through 10. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turning to the crowd that followed him, said, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. And when those who had been sent returned to the house, they found the servant well. So, what is the measure of your faith? Is it a faith that can make you follow Jesus' footsteps across the waters? Is it faith enough for you to lay your child on an altar, or trust God to avenge you against your enemies? Is it a faith that makes you a fearless defender of the truth, the helpless, the innocent, and the poor? Is it a faith that makes you strong, ready to stare death in the face, or sacrifice material things for heavenly gain? How can you gauge the size of your faith? An accurate gauge of faith is good works. Good works won't save you, 
but good works are evidence of the existence of a saving faith. The evidence of light, is its shine. The evidence of faith is the shiny works it produces. A dim faith will only produce dim works, but a bright faith illuminates, encourages, guides, and helps. Good works without faith produces a counterfeit light, a reflection of the true light, but it is powered by an imitation of the true source. It emanates from self-power, a power that cannot save, and cannot remain lit because there is no real faith, or divine power behind it. I urge you to be a lighthouse. This world is dark, and many travelers are crashing into lies, and sinking into the crushing depths of sin. It is up to the lighthouses of God to show them the way to the safe shores of the gospel, and help them moor their vessels in the peaceful harbors of forgiveness and love. Polish your lenses you saints, and shine brightly. Thank you.